How much garbage do we make? Good work. Well, I came to the gym and I forgot my keys. So I can't get in the gym. My keys are in my other pickup truck and I have this dually right now because I had to salt the other day on the weekend. So no workout this morning. Good, how are you? Together. I remember my brother Matt. Matt Knudsen. Oh yeah, yeah Mark and Matt. Mark, Mark. Yeah, Mark, Mark. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember you guys. You look bear. different, man. Oh, so do you. Well, we're you so look... old now. Yeah, we're both, we're both huge fans. But my brother, like, he watches religiously. So. That's cool. Thank you, man. Well, have a great day. Hey, good seeing you. Good morning, morning Mizzy. Great. John. What's up? I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, ever since you picked up the gun. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Thank you. You're all set. Thanks have a great day. See you next time. Yep. I'm gonna check. I think I have a little bit of salt in here from Saturday, and uh, that's okay because I want to do a little pre-salting today. I got some in there. Man, the new salt that I got, it's treated. And I got a load of it last year, and it is great salt. It just doesn't freeze like just about every other salt that I've ever had. I mean, it'll freeze, don't get me wrong. But it resists freezing better than anything I've ever seen. And that will continue through Tuesday afternoon. That's when the heaviest accumulation is going to fall from tomorrow morning through tomorrow evening. And then it starts to wrap up as we head towards Tuesday night and into the early morning hours on Wednesday. So the snow that falls is expected to be heavy and wet, bringing the potential for some power outages as well. I was at the yard here waiting for Eric and Francisco, and they are going crazy on the news. Like this is going to be the end of the world and snowmageddon. You guys know how it is. Even if we get the higher end of the totals, even if we get, let's say we get more, we get a foot of snow. I mean, this is Wisconsin, <laughs> like we can handle it. We're not all gonna die. You don't have to rush to the grocery store to get milk and eggs just to survive the storm. I'm gonna get this truck fired up. I'm just debating whether I should put the salter on this or not. You know, if I don't, I only have one salter, so I'd be dependent on help if that truck went down. Mike just texted me. Mike said he's going through all this stuff today to make sure everything is ready for this, make sure he's ready for the snow. Yep. Yeah, about Common theme with snowplow contractors today. I just feel like I should probably put the salter on this thing today. This one needs fuel. A lot of stuff needs fuel today. We got a lot of work to do today. I'm gonna put the plow on this one for sure too. That's at the winter shop. Exactly, yeah. We've got ourselves a major snowstorm that's gonna power its way through the Midwest here over the next 36 hours or so. Francisco's here. He's got his dad's truck again. Eric's here. What's up? You ready for the blizzard? She's coming hard. I know. I seen that. I was just watching, I was just reading the news right now too. They're saying like six to ten inches here. We got too lucky for a while, no snow. Yeah, I know. Oh, tight. this is gonna look really different. Oh yeah. In about, it really looked different, look at this. In about 24 hours though, everything's gonna be completely buried. How many inches are you talking about? Six to ten tomorrow. Six to ten on Friday. And then also oh, we get in tomorrow and Friday. Yeah, but Thursday, is it Wednesday night? There's a clipper coming, so like probably a couple inches out of that too so we could have a good couple feet of snow by the end of the week what's yeah, up no, we just taking the handles off the, everything oh. we took everything out yeah you ready for the snow it's going hard. what'd you bring for lunch uh, chips Sopa, de pollo. Oh, oh that tuna yeah. stuff yeah. that's, yeah. that's really good you. Oh, you got that in there? Oh, yeah. He made some good stuff. What's yeah, he oh, sent okay. me a picture last night. It looks really good. Nah, it went down. Yep. Mine's going down, too. 
I'm get, it is. Yeah. I'm losing weight, I'm getting stronger. Too, I'm pretty much ready to fight again. So we gotta start getting everything ready. As we start getting all this snow, I'm gonna keep the area plowed where that first building is going. We're gonna mark the corners. Actually, I'm having the corners marked by a surveyor because he's gotta come and uh, re refresh the lot lines because the marker that's up there got moved. So he's got to refresh the lot lines over here. So I was like, you know what, since you're here, go ahead and put the four posts in or four corners in for the building and put a finished floor elevation while you're at it. Make it easy on me. Start working on the, you know, the grading and stuff as soon as it warms up enough and able to work on it. Pull the uh, compactor off of the little dump truck. Let's put that inside here. Okay. So that doesn't get, we should put these on there too, because we're going to need those. Actually, you can put those on that truck. Throw these inside the shed. He's got to go in my storage at some point. It's food, Eric. Emergency food supply. In case we're starving over here from the storm. If we get <laughs> stranded, yeah, we at least are. we'll survive, Eric. I got the little propane heater and we got three, <laughs> <laughs> three buckets of food. Eric, it's snowmageddon. I listened in the news, they said we all might die. So I got emergency food supply. It's one, it's one bucket for each of us. Hey, jump in this truck. I want to hook that plow up over there. Everything's good. Take the Chevy. We're going to go uh, to the winter shop, put the boss plow on and the other salter on that truck. Just pulling into the winter shop. MacGyver's pulling in right behind me. So we're going to hook up that plow and then I have the V-Box salter in the shop. And we're going to grab that and put that on the Chevy. Make sure that's all operating properly which it should be, it's all pretty much brand new. And then after that, we're gonna do some pre-salting, gotta go fuel everything. Uh, snow blower is another thing. I got a snow blower, um, but I haven't run it, you know, since last winter. I didn't take the gas out. So I completely forgot I had it stored somewhere, which, which is a place that's easy to forget about. That's what I did. So hopefully we can get that running. <laughs> kick, kick that all the way, all the way. Keep going. There you go. Where's my glasses? Man, I hate being blind. Yeah? Oh, I hate my glasses. I was thinking about LASIK, but then I saw the Whistling Diesel video. Did you see it? He had LASIK surgery a year ago, and he had a horrible experience. They said it's Terrible. bad. They said really, it's bad. really bad, man. Yeah, they said you gotta think about doing that. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Then I'm like, no. Gotta go down. Got it. Pick it up and back up a little bit first, man. I don't want you to put the plow right through the Pick building. Up, now back up the oh. whole truck, yeah. Put in the scoop. The top one. No, that's up and down, Eric. All the way. Now open it up straight. Now now angle it left and right. No, not. Like this. Left and right. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta hold, you gotta do them both together like this. This what? is how you angle it. Never word of fancy V plow. Oh, sorry. You hold it, okay, both of them. You hold them both. Okay. The plow works. Okay, set it all the way down. So the shop videos are a little bit behind, so we have been doing some work in here. But I won't show you what we all did. Those will be upcoming. I wanna get these snow videos out as soon as possible. We gotta get this 
tailgate off. So just pick it up and put it on the forks and then lay it down. There you go. Perfect. Gorgeous. Now we just need to slide it out, pick it up, super easy. That's good. You guys are very strong. Together we're like 400 pounds. Yeah. I'm gonna have to blur that shot out, Eric. You gotta have a belt, man. You gotta, you gotta wear a belt for sure. <laughs> man. Which one you want? Push this one up here. MacGyver bent these. He was using them over there. I saw it. Do you see the big arc in that thing? It's really bad now. I gotta get old. Yeah, I am gonna get my own. No, they make forks like that that are eight feet long. I just hope we can get it out. Oh. Once we put it on the truck and lay it down, hopefully it comes out. Oh. I'm just gonna spin around in here, just back the truck right in the shop. too far we got to slide it back we could pull it or push it or whatever we got to do something all right just haul it there for now probably need a little bit more but it's hard to tell Eric, how am i gonna call it eric shorter so you gotta lift that side you gotta go way that way Why don't you plug me right in my eye? <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny. No. Plugs in right here, remember, Eric? Yeah. Should have plugged into the back of the... Eric, <laughs> Eric, 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 I'm messing with you. It goes uh, in this one. Why are you Because last time... Because last time you plugged it in there and I was laughing at right. you. Right. More. More. Hold it. Huh? A little bit too far. Half an inch. Back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too far. <laughs> oh, good. That's good enough. You're almost out of room already. Like, open those up as far as you can. You gotta tighten all the way. You gotta loosen it. Let me see. You gotta you gotta loosen it and put the chain, put the hook to the next chain link. Otherwise, you're never gonna get it because it's all the way tight. It is easy. Start the truck and turn the salter on. Hopefully it works good. Eric, that's the vibrator. Put the salter on. Thank you. All right, we gotta hook up. Where's the light that was on this thing? Where's the light that was on the top of this? I think it's a half inch, Eric. We need a ratchet too. Oh, Eric, come, come on, man. Go get a ratchet, man. This works? Eric, it doesn't work. Go get a ratchet. 
You should try it with your pliers. Just get it in there. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works out for you. All right, everything works. Oh, what time is it? What time is it? I gotta meet somebody. Oh, it's only 11. It's earlier than I thought. Well, yeah, I just take that to the yard and then take the T320 and top it off with diesel. I'm gonna stop and put diesel in this one. This one's low. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I got some helpers that are gonna help do the sidewalks. I'm gonna meet with them at lunchtime. You sure it's not in there? It's not in there, dude. It's supposed to be in the envelope. It's not there. Oh, the fuel car. I yeah. thought you were talking about the key. I didn't take the fuel car. I haven't touched it. I never use the fuel cars. We'll take it with you then. Since we lost the other one. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, that's another one of those things. I got fuel cards for every truck. And you can already guess what happens to those. They just lose them. I put them in a nice big clear zipper envelope and they disappear. So I don't know. Winterized diesel prevents gelling. Hopefully. Okay, I'm just pulling up. I'm picking up uh, one of the students here, college students. He's going to kind of lead the sidewalk shoveling crew for me. But I got to show him what the responsibilities are. He doesn't even know what they're doing. How's it going? Good. All right. Excellent. Do you have some other like guys that are going to give you a hand? I think uh, four, possibly five. Yeah, if you got four, you'll be good. Okay. If they're consistent. So when you're salting, I usually carry the, I usually carry the bucket up here and then you just use your hand. So obviously it's gonna look like a lot of salt now, but when there's snow on the ground, it doesn't look like that. So this is about what you're looking at. You just walk along. That's about what you're trying to do. Storm, you don't salt in the middle of a snowstorm, you're just wasting salt because it's gonna get covered right back up. We really don't salt until the end. So the city sidewalks, which are these, I come down these with a machine. So you don't have to do these. So that's pretty much everything. Super easy, right? Seems like it. All right. Hi. Uh, we came to see you actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're from Menominee Falls. And we wanted to ask you if you had a permit for that string that you have tied to the tree. Because we don't allow strings like that without a permit. I'm just kidding. I'm the snowplow contractor. Okay. I'm showing my guys, the shoveling guys, what oh. to do. Because we're awesome. supposed to get tons of snow. I know. Tons this week. I am, I'm like excited. Pumped up, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go do some snowshoeing. And... Well, we're supposed to get like 6 to 12 inches tonight. And then it's supposed to repeat on Six Friday. To 12 tonight? Yeah, and then a re... Not tonight. Tonight to into tomorrow. tomorrow. And yeah. then Friday, we're supposed to have another same size storm as we're getting. So I'll be the one if... You know, you hear loud equipment and plows banging Dang. and scraping on the driveway at three in the morning. Yeah. That's me. Do you think she was buying the string permit? I don't know. She was kind of starting to, I think. Just a little bit. Concerned. A little. Because <laughs> 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 you never know in Menominee Falls, they might have a string permit. It's possible. I'll just communicate as much as I can with you. Yep, sounds good. All right, see you later. What we're gonna do now is go get some lunch first thing and then after lunch we got to go fuel up the other skid steers and i'm going to do some pre-salting with this truck oh dude. speedway is trash yeah, dude. dude oh because you had to didn't the car work at the pump yeah but at... not, not at the, the pump, pump. she you gotta like, go inside she and pay. Like, no you gotta, yeah, she gotta the hold car, your car and we're cool. waiting there like okay give me a second oh, so back and forth right oh, we'll so go so inside and i was like just trying to give you car and we'll go you know you know why it's like that because Apparently Speedway doesn't own the diesel pumps. It's two companies trying to work together. That's why it's like that. 45 minutes just there. I know, man. I, like, Wait. I went and got fuel in the truck. Dude. I went and met the guy at church. I walked him through all the condos, showed him how to shovel, showed him where the salt is, showed him how to salt. And I still beat you guys over here. That's crazy. Man. I'm just yeah, we're frustrated, man, for real. I'm frustrated. There's a little salt in here still. I gotta go get rid of him and I'm gonna pre-salt at the church. We gotta go to the church anyway. We gotta fill up the skid loader. They are. We gotta get them out of there and probably park them down in there in the corner. Because if somebody parks right there, we're done. 
or? Not right now. Let's oh. eat. We'll eat first, yeah. What'd Should you say about the small one? I oh. brought the small one. Well, we well, can eat it What'd you bring, Eric? You smell that? Oh, oh that looks good too. And you got, what are tostadas? Yep. Oh, oh. The only thing it's like real got, Mexican restaurant right soda. here. We don't got soda here. Oh, oh really? You, you don't have a Coke? No, you don't have a Coke? No, I don't have anything. We should go get something. Yeah, we'll, All right. get, we'll go get something oh, first. Yeah. Then. We'll get something. Cause I'm gonna choke on the chips. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. you me, and then me and Eric die, and then you gotta do the. <laughs> then you gotta do the snow all by yourself, man. <laughs> Cherry, Dr Pepper, zero sugar. That can't be good for you. Yeah. Looks like it tastes good. Now we can eat. I'm gonna choke to death. I gotta try some of yours too, Eric. Well, we're we're trying everything. We gotta have the full restaurant experience. Thanks, man. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> What's wrong, Eric? Why are you going on the phone and then you get off the phone, you're stressing. <laughs> are you getting sued or something? I've never had a call from Nigeria. We gotta answer this one. Victory, this is Ryan. Easy money. Very easy. Where are you from? From Nigeria. I'm a fan. I saw you on YouTube. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. I That's never cool. I never had anybody call from Nigeria before. I wanna say hi, man. Take care, my yeah. Eric. All right, he's here, he hears you. Huh. All right, man, take care. Uh, all right, uh, easy morning, man. Uh, all right, adios. <laughs> easy. What concrete company is that? I gotta get a shovel. Mm -hmm. I gotta Isn't get it? a shovel. You better get a shovel. You need a shovel for concrete. <laughs> yeah, Mud's here, we ain't got no time to mess around. It's just me and my dad, I gotta get another pair of boots. I don't think he hey, has just boots him out. and his dad? What just him and his dad. I don't, I don't know. He used to just work with us where we worked for a guy that didn't care if we floated stuff in. That's why he's got a bad habit of doing it. But I definitely care. Keep the broom straight, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good work. Oh, Mr. Apple. Is that hey, you? What's going on? I don't have my glass on, but Mr. I'm pretty Apple. sure that's him. Mr. Yeah, his name's Mr. Apple. He's a really good flooring guy. He knows how to do tile, carpet, laminates. Yeah. Well, why and you know, man? That's his last name, Eric. Don't you tell him to do oh, your, uh, your, your bedroom? Bed I know. I was actually thinking about that. You should. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, and you? Good. Good to see you. Have you been busy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Do you ever do projects for like private residences? Mm -hmm. You do. Mm -hmm. Can I call you? You can call me, but I know you're busy for like ten years out. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What is it? A bathroom. It just you're seems like a lot. You're gonna take it from a bathtub to a shower? Yeah. It's, not, it's a lot easier than you think. Is it? Yeah. You work with me. I'm a, I mean, we'll... For you, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Well... You've been doing floors for like 73 years. Oh, no, I ain't even that old yet. <laughs> well, I'll call you or something. Okay. These things have done nothing this year so far, pretty much. Still pouring, did you quit pouring cement? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But we don't call it cement where we're from. <laughs> Show me what you got. Let's see. Like nothing. Oh, this one is completely full of fuel. This one's totally full of fuel. Maybe this one too. I don't know. Start it up and see. It's full? Now we don't have to go to the gas station. Ryan just greased these and we didn't use them, so. As long as the plow is operating properly, we should be good to go. Yeah, everything's ready to go. That's nice. Oh, what is this? I got a little note under the windshield wiper. What is this for? What's this? That's hydraulic oil leaking. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you later. Dear Mr. Ryan, we follow your channel on YouTube and found out about the Christmas program through your son's channel. Our kids were very excited to see you and Victory Bobcat and took a picture. You have a lovely family. God bless you. That was from December 9th. That's pretty cool. It must have been rubbing off on the tire and got caught or something. We're just going to have to switch it out to the bucket for now and use the bucket instead of the plow. I, was I gotta ask him like what he was doing. 
didn't he obviously that. wasn't angling the plow because you can't without this. I don't have no tools here to take this off. So I guess we're not using a little plow. Francisco's not great in the machines yet. He doesn't really have a lot of experience, but this summer I'm gonna get him some side jobs and get him going so he can start, start getting ahead. I'm gonna pre-salt. And then uh, the last thing I gotta do is see if that snowblower starts and runs. I highly doubt it's gonna start, but sometimes they'll surprise me. If this starts, it'll be a miracle. It hasn't run in a year. I didn't take the gas out. <laughs> didn't have any. Oh, it's not frozen up, man. Oh, it's. If it starts, I'll be surprised. It's a Honda. It's not a Honda. No. No. It's a Toro. Yep. Uh, Toros are good too, man. There's a spider in there. Don't you gotta hold it? No. It runs good. It's surging a little bit with the choke off. So you could just put the choke a little bit this way and it runs. Yeah. It still runs even with the choke off, but it surges a little bit. That's really good. We put plenty of salt down. And there's still a little bit coming out. I think it's empty though. It's gotta be. Oh, there's still salt in here. pre-salted heavy there was a lot more salt in here than i thought back at the old yard I'm just parking the uh the dually i'm gonna empty there's just a little bit of salt left in there make sure it's completely empty okay salt is empty trucks full of fuel we are ready so i'm gonna take these guys back I'm gonna get some fresh fuel for the snow blower, and that's all I can think of. All right, keep your phones on and close to you and on and loud, volume turned up, ringers on. All right. All right, see you later. I'm Adios. Gonna, thank you. All right. Thanks for the lunch. Tell your wife, thank you. I just got gas and put it into the snow blower so they have fresh gas over there. I made a little little video and I sent it over to the college students so they know how to start the snowblower properly. Now I'm over here by Han Ace. I need to grab um, some scrapers, windshield scrapers, ice scrapers. And uh, then I was gonna look at the snowblowers too. So I've, I've been considering, I think it even I even mentioned it last winter about the Ego battery powered snowblowers. Uh, I said I was gonna do like a comparison uh, to a gas blower and I never got around to it and I don't know how much they cost but I want to go take a look at them and just I don't know let's just go take a look at them I'm here for ice scrapers but we might go home with another snow blower You want to know how to fix it? How do you do this? So, I got one at home. Just take this and bend it. See how it bends easily? Just break this off. Oh, that oh, Just this. trust me. I'll break this. Just off. break it off. Then it then it doesn't clip onto there. It's That's, these are such a pain. It's terrible. Yeah. And I, I'm not as strong as a guy. These are the best gas cans they make except for that. Well, I like this part because it's a really good gas can, middle. yeah. I have a $1000. Why are these so expensive? Which ones? All of them. The snowboards? Yeah. No idea. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> These are a red hot buy though, so. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, a ton today. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they're like they're supposed to snow the rest of the week. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference? Fifty, uh, sing, twenty-one inch single stage, seven and a half amp. Oh, these are the same. Wait. With two batteries, with two batteries, seven and a half amp. Am I missing something here? 
Uh, Every, everything looks the same except this one says Power Plus. I believe it's just the different batteries in it. I think this one comes with you know, the same batteries. There's two seven and a half amp. Oh, it's because this is the twisted, um, the twisted, so it's a metal and uh, rubber. Okay. So basically, this is just a straight metal auger on here. All this right. This one has basically a twisted paddle, so it's a little bit of a tighter spiral than the normal paddles. Okay. But is this the I best think. single stage that they have? That's the best single stage. Okay. Because I want to compare a single stage to a single stage gas. Mm -hmm. So I want like as close a comparison as we can get. All right. I'll just take this. This was. Is this? Is there one in here? Yeah, there should be one in the box. Alright, yeah, I'll just take that then. All you gotta do is take that up to the register for that number if you wanna help load it up at all. Six. Okay, so, so that's that probably about more. the same price as what I'm getting. Most likely. Yeah, yeah. so they're really similar in price and it's, size and weight and all that. battery, that's really what you're paying for. Yep. You, get... you ready? Yep. You're really strong. He's stronger than you look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, thank you. So this snowblower here, you might think I'm wasting money. I'm not. I didn't just buy that for a comparison. My wife has been asking me to buy a snowblower for the house for quite some time because I'm not always around and the kids got to go to school and I'm out plowing or whatever. I can't get home real quick. And she said that, you know, one of the girls or Ryan Jr. could snowblow uh, a little bit just so they could get out of the driveway. So I bought it for that reason. I bought it for the house. And you guys saw I already have the the single stage gas blower so I'll be able to do some nice comparison testing and just see how it is so other brands make the battery powered snow blowers I know for sure there's a Milwaukee I know for sure there's a DeWalt but I don't have a Milwaukee or a DeWalt I have an Eagle and I heard pretty good things about them so I guess uh, we'll decide for ourselves after all this snow the CEO is at school right now but when he gets home He's going to be really happy. 45 foot throwing distance. Yeah, come on. All right, let's not let's no, let's not exaggerate. This thing ain't throwing no 45 feet. I can tell you that. It might throw a rubber ball 45 feet, but it ain't throwing no heavy snow 45 feet. I have heard good things about these, but let's not get carried away here manual and a uh, allen key for some reason i have no idea why this thing should take very minimal assembly i'm sure out of the box it's got to lock down somehow looks like it has clamps probably tighten these until it's uh, a little bit more a little bit more. That ah, feels pretty good. Uh, what else we got? Here's a shoot. There's a shoot. It's probably just oh, that's the Allen key. That's the Allen key right there. So I gotta loosen those, bolt that back in. So that little that little tab there slides in there just like that well, that's easy so there's your handle to twist the chute it's actually pretty smooth and then this is gonna come with uh, a couple batteries and a charger all right So these just slide on here like so. Big batteries, pretty heavy, 56 volts. And this isn't a new brand, they've been around for a while. So they should have all the bugs worked out of this stuff. Wow, heated grip. Has an LED light, a heated grip, I didn't expect that. Daniel will be able to run this thing. Some of you might think that Daniel is too young to run this. He's only eight years old, but He's not your average eight-year-old. He's a very intelligent little guy. Hi, Grace. Are you gonna go pick up Daniel? All right, you see what I bought? You're gonna be happy about this. Wow. 
So that's your throttle. You can uh, lower it or blast it. I don't know why you'd ever take it off a blast, to be honest. I have no idea. And then uh, to operate it, you have to do two things. You have to hold the power button and then, and then grab the paddle. Or the grip or whatever you want to call this lever here. I have no idea. Everything's simple. I know Daniel can handle all this. The CEO should be coming home from school in just a few minutes here. I got the snowblower covered up in the garage. Hopefully that'll make him really happy. Maybe I'll even get a raise if I'm lucky. Kids are home. Joanna and Daniel. I think Daniel's going to be excited. Sorry about my giant mess in the garage. We still got to put our summer stuff away. Hi, Joanna. Hi. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Want to look under here? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, pull it off from over there. See what you think. That is cool. What do you think about that? Good. Can I get a raise? What? Can I get a raise? No. You know, it slides in there. Yeah, yeah. You slide one on this side. Yeah. And you gotta push it down until it clips. See these things? Yeah. yeah. You just push it down, it'll clip in. Okay. Same thing on this side. That's easy. Yeah, close that. Okay. And then this makes it go faster or slower, just always leave it up. Okay. So the only thing you need to do, this is headlights. If you wanna put the headlights on. Okay. Daniel? Mm -hmm. For nighttime use. Yeah, I shovel at night. <laughs> I know. So all you do is you push the button, and as you're holding the button, then you pull the handle back. And then you can let go of the button. Nope, you gotta do what I just said first. Now you let go. What do you think about that? It's good. Don't go off the sidewalk, don't go in the mulch, don't put toys don't in there. The don't put Grace's baby in there. <laughs> and then when you're done, you just you flip this up and then you know you gotta you gotta clip these back in it. And you always gotta put these back on the charger. Okay. So I don't know how long these will last, if it'll do the whole driveway. Yeah. Uh, it'll do the straight part for sure. This is a tool, not a toy. Really expensive. Okay? Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you guys when the snow starts.